In this video, we'll be looking at scalar and vector quantities and what we mean by contact and non-contact forces. Scalar quantities have magnitude or size only. Scalar quantities do not have direction. Examples of scalar quantities include speed, mass, distance, time and temperature. Vector quantities have magnitude and an associated direction. A vector quantity may be represented by an arrow. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude and the direction of the arrow the direction of the vector quantity. Forces are vector quantities. So here you can see that the larger the force, the longer the arrow. Other examples of vector quantities are velocity, momentum, displacement and acceleration. A force is a push or a pull that acts on an object due to the interaction with another object. You should be able to describe the interaction between pairs of objects which produce a force on each object. The forces will be shown as vectors. I'll be given examples in other relevant videos, but I'll also include some examples in this video. All forces between objects are either contact forces, where the objects are physically touching, or non-contact forces, where the objects are physically separated. Examples of contact forces include friction, air resistance, tension in strings and springs, and the normal contact force. I better explain what we mean by the normal contact force. The normal contact force is, when, is what happens when an object is in contact with a surface. For example, when you stand on your floor, uh, your weight pushes on the floor with a force. The floor pushes back with an equal and opposite force. That is called the normal contact force. Examples of non-contact forces are gravitational force, electrostatic force and magnetic force. For example, uh, the satellite orbiting the Earth in this picture experiences a gravitational force towards the Earth even though they're not touching each other. By the way, the Earth experiences an equal and opposite force towards the satellite. In this picture, you can see electrons orbiting the nucleus of an atom. This is again, again is an example of a non-contact force. It's due to the electrostatic attraction between the positive nucleus and the negative electrons. Notice that the clip art has a mistake. The orange sphere should have no charge and the electrons should have a negative charge. Right, the keywords you're going to need to know for the exam are, make sure you know these, are magnitude, direction, contact, non-contact, physically touching, physically separated, scalar quantity and vector quantity.